No. <laughs> so I thought I'd give you guys a quick tour. Check out this view while we're doing dishes. Wow. He's gonna make it. So with the time change, the kids are still waking up super early, but it's been awesome to get the sunrise every morning because it's been amazing. Do you guys see the sunrise? So this morning we're reading books about San Diego and we're playing with Play-Doh. Oh, I'm gonna make a statue. These are seashells. You made some seashells? Those are really cool seashells, Laura. Thanks. And Lorenzo's lightsaber, but it's purple. What did you make, Eunice? Um, me. Oh. With a little skirt and hair, but her hair's a little bit longer. <laughs> So since we got the kids the Fitbit, they're like constantly challenging each other on steps. 4,124. What are you at, Isaac? 4,129. You guys are right by each other, and it's only 8 a.m. These two. <laughs> they're getting their steps in. Whole question, do you have a Fitbit or something like that where you're keeping track of your steps? This is awesome. We're finally here. You made it. Do the pose. Oh. V. Good job, buddy. So this was a family home back several years ago, and the dad loved gardening, especially planting roses and taking care of them. And he would listen to classical music out here and their grandkids would climb on this tree. And so when we were looking for a place to stay, we really cared a lot about the yard, a place where our kids could play and have adventures. And so they've been finding all these hideouts and everything. Why don't you guys come show us all your hideouts? Oh yeah. Don't tell mommy. Okay. They've made these hideouts and they have secret code names for each of them. And they're trying to make sure mom doesn't know where they are if they're hiding. J1. Is this J1? Uh-huh. That's your first hideout. So there's a little hideout under the bushes down here. Oh look, there's a potato. Or a rock that looks like a potato. <laughs> we just named this hideout oh. Potato! Potato, because there's a potato <laughs> rock in there. We discovered this, but first we discovered a place that connected. So this is, this whole area is called trash. Is this is the, the trash, trash hideout? Oh, right there? Yep. So there's a little walkway back there. This is Laura's. This flower. Is this flower mm -hmm. hideout? Laura's little hideout. Look, this hideout is called Main Book. This was the first one you found, right? Yeah. Then I checked over there and I was like, wow, there's another one. So there's you can like play one. back there? That side is more like the vine area and playground. That side's more like the office area and view and relaxation area. This is called the Talkity Talk Shop. Hideout? Uh huh. Why do you call it that? Because you can talk to people inside. There are screens right there that are open and you can't see them. Okay, leave mom alone while she's showering, Hi, you guys. Mom. <laughs> You're talking to her. This one is the very last main one that I found. She can climb down into that tree, that bush. Laura, what are you doing? Getting more steps. Oh, okay. Elise is hoping to take the lead while Isaac is up in the tree. How many steps are you up to? 5,498. Let's go see how many Isaac is up to. Isaac, how many steps are you up to? 4,911. How much is Elisa? I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> what are you up to now? 5,700. 29. Uh-oh. 
He's back at it. He's back. He's back. <laughs> Can you imagine if you were running around right now back in Kansas City where it's all snowy? I need a double jacket. <laughs> yeah, a jacket. Hi. You would be cold. And I'll be playing football with Caitlin. <laughs> in the snow? Yeah. I like being in San Diego. It said it's icy and cold in Kansas City. Yeah. Well, I really love the rental house that we're staying at, and I realized that we haven't shown you guys much of it, so I thought I'd give you guys a quick tour. It starts out here with this wrought iron gate you enter a courtyard. I love all the outdoor spaces. And a beautiful blue door. When you come in the front door, it's actually a pretty open layout. On my right is a bathroom and the den, and then there's the family room and the dining room. I'm absolutely in love with all the windows in this room and the exposed brick. Right next to the family room is the den or the TV room. At night, it's also really beautiful to see all the lights <laughs> of the city. This hallway leads to the bedrooms. There's a half bath, which is awesome. And then down here, we've got the master bedroom. So nice, it walks out to the patio and it has a king size bed. The master bedroom also has its own master bathroom. So here's the view from the master bedroom. Down this hall, we've got plenty of storage, three more bedrooms, a bathroom, and the laundry room. This is the kids' bathroom. This is Janae's bedroom. This is where the boys are staying, Isaac and Caleb. And this is the girls' room. So because of the courtyard and the beautiful outside space, there's so much light in this house. All the rooms have at least two windows, like one on each side, which is so cool. I love that. The girls also have a window out to the courtyard. Here's the dining room. These chairs are so comfy. There's a little workspace here, which is super convenient for Jeremy. And then the kitchen. I absolutely love this lamp. My grandma had one, almost just like it in her house, so it feels nostalgic to me. My favorite thing about the kitchen is the view from the kitchen sink. Check out this view while we're doing dishes. It's cloudy today, but you get the idea. Now I'm heading outside. So we checked out lots of rental houses and the reason we chose this one was because of the outdoor space. If you're gonna be in San Diego in January, you want to be able to enjoy being outside and it's overcast today, but the view is amazing. But it's not just about the view. There's grass and place for the kids to run around and play and they've been absolutely loving it, so that's great. There's an eating area and a couch area with a fire pit. It's not set up right at this moment, but it's really fun. So there's the rental house. We're gonna be here for a whole month and again, one of the things that I like about being here for that long and staying as a house is that we can maintain so many of our routines. Like the kids woke up this morning and they did chores. We unloaded the dishwasher, we swept the floor, we did some laundry and I just find as we can maintain those routines, it keeps all of us just kind of happier. I was also able to pack the kids' schoolwork and Jeremy has his laptop in the internet so he can work. And so a lot of our day-to-day -day stuff will stay the same, but then we'll be able to make these fun outings to go see and explore new places. And you guys, honestly, this is kind of a dream come true for me. I love seeing new things with my kids and my family and exploring new places. And so we're excited to try this as a family. <laughs> that tongue. <laughs> so Lisi and I are going on a walk along the bay, like there's this nice sidewalk area, and I'm just wishing that Janae could be with us. 
but unfortunately I made one fatal error when I was packing. I forgot to pack a stroller. That was ridiculous. Like I think just in the stress of that day with her being sick and getting ready to go, I just, I didn't bring a stroller. So we're gonna have to buy one because I keep wanting to go on walks with her and she's getting big enough that I can't just like hold her squirming in my hands the whole time. We left her at the park with the other kids and we're gonna go explore. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what kind of birds these are. They have red eyes. And white beaks and black feathers. It might be a new animal that no one has discovered yet. Yeah, or it might just be new to us because we're not used to San Diego animals. Maybe. When we get home, we'll have to look it up and figure it out. I love figuring out stuff like that. Wherever we go, these two just need a football and they're happy. These two are hard at work in the sand area. Yes, can I help you? She's happy. Mama! She like pointed to the swing and she's like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, are you doing it? <laughs> Look out there, there's a rowing team. I have always wanted to try rowing. Wait, did they row backwards? Yep. I don't know why, but that's the way it works. Isn't that awesome? Elise, how many steps are you at? 9,808.62. Hey, Isaac, what are you at? 11,290. Oh, you were at 9,000 just uh, like 15 minutes ago, though. Yeah. All that football. Laura, let's go see the whale. <laughs> you can make it all the way, buddy. Keep going. How strong he is. He's going to make it. Last one! Woo! You did it! You did it! Oh, pass, buddy. Good job. So I've been getting some questions about why we came to San Diego and why we're staying for a whole month, which is a really valid question. So there's three reasons why we're doing this. Number one, one of my dreams and desires my entire life has been to see the world, to explore new places and to do it with our family. That's one of the reasons why we homeschool and it's amazing because Jeremy works so much from home that we're able to have him along for our adventures too. Our kids have never been to San Diego and so we wanted to come and try that. Number two, we came in January because it is cold in Kansas City. January and the winter is usually just kind of a harder time for me. I can't get out and be outside the way that I like to. There's not as much sunshine, we're all stuck inside there's usually sickness and so that's one of the reasons we decided to come during January is to escape the cold my anxiety and my depression does so much better the more I'm able to be outside the third reason is that with our young family and the ages that we are when we go on a trip and we try to do 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 lots of things and go 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 it's stressful and it's honestly kind of miserable. Our kids and us are so much happier if we're able to slowly explore, like go one place each day and then come home. And so we found that not only was it cheaper to get a rental house for a whole month, but when we're here for a month, there's not as much pressure. Like you can go see some place for half of a day and then come home and you know that you've got other days to go and see stuff and explore. <laughs> We're talking about weaknesses and how we're trying to make them strengths and about the things in our family that we wish we could change, like overreacting or being mean to each other or not cooperating. While we were talking about it, we all were doing this. Let's do it on three. One, One two, two, three. three. And May <laughs> just <laughs> loves it. And she, she keeps trying to make that noise. One, two, One, two three. Three, two. <laughs> Three, two, oh, yeah. Yeah. Final count real quick. What's your numbers on the steppers? 6,739. Is it 16,000? 16, yeah! Good job. I broke my record. 22,010, my new record. Good job. And then I walked longer than we normally walk at Disneyland. Yep. Really? Yep. 
I burnt 282 calories and I had 323 minutes of activity. And he has three blisters. With the rain, they weren't able to be out as much in the evening. But I would love to hear in the comments what's the most you've ever walked or steps you've taken if you've ever kept track of it. But we hope you have a wonderful night. On three, one, two, three. No, Jay House out. <laughs> Jay House out. Good night. <laughs>if you're still watching. We're still here. The other kids are in bed, but Isaac and Elise and Jeremy and I are playing a game called Pass the Pigs. You just like roll a little pair of pig dice and it's surprisingly fun. Oh, I lost all my toys. This is such a fun game. Tossing piggies. Yeah, when they were- 20! 20, 20, 20, 20 points! Okay, 20. 20, are you gonna keep going? Yeah. Whoa. She's risky. <gasps> Oh God, you lost it! <laughs> Jeremy's had an epic comeback. No, no, it's no, down to these no, two. No, 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 no. Here we go, read it and weep. Bye. No! <laughs> Did you just win? Yeah. Did you have fun with the stickers? Yep. <laughs> you guys trying to eat the bubbles? <laughs> it says low and high and off, but then there's also numbers on here, so I have no idea. So this is our new family read aloud.